In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, my own children, whose sins have already been forgiven through his name. I am writing to you, fathers, who have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, who have already overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you already know the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and God's word has made its home in you, and you have overcome the evil one. You must not love this passing world or anything that is in this world. The love of the Father cannot be in any man who loves the world, because nothing the world has to offer the sensual body, the lustful eye, pride in possessions, could ever come from the Father, but only from the world. And the world, with all it craves for, is coming to an end. But anyone who does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice, and earth be glad. Give to the Lord, you families of peoples. Give to the Lord glory and power. Give to the Lord the glory of his name. Let the heavens rejoice, and earth be glad. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place will be judged the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Alleluia, alleluia. 
At various times in the past and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Lord, to you, Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years, her days of girlhood over. She had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment and began to praise God. And she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity and he was filled with wisdom and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In today's gospel, we have the prophetess Anna, who, like Simeon, was one of the few who recognized the Messiah in the child Jesus as he was presented by Mary and Joseph in the temple. She recognized him even before Jesus had done anything, performed any miracles, said anything, preached. Her consistent faith in her fasting, in her daily prayer, provided her with that openness and the graces to recognize Jesus, the one sent by God to save Israel. Of the many people who were probably there, Anna and Simeon professed their realization of who this child was and what it meant that he was there. I'm sure Mary and Joseph must have been surprised to hear them. They knew who Jesus was, but to have these Very holy, respected people who were in the temple every day sort of give this testimony about their son. And I'm sure over the years in the past, Anna had been waiting for a long time. She probably got frustrated at times, even maybe had times of doubt that the Messiah would come at all. But when she saw this baby being offered by Joseph and Mary, she knew. She had over those years in her prayer And in her fasting, she had established this relationship with God so that when the time did come, she didn't miss what was right in front of her, the Messiah that she had been waiting for. Even though he came in the the form of this little baby, probably not what people were expecting in the Messiah. They expected a soldier, a warrior to come. But here comes the Savior in the form of a child. But her faith and her close relationship with God uh, made her know God better. And it can be the same for us. Our faith and our relationship with him help us to recognize him when he's working in our life, when he's revealing himself to us. That faith and that intimacy with God give us spiritual sight. They give us spiritual vision that makes us open and receptive and and able to better understand when God is trying to communicate with us. Now, most of us can't spend our days in the temple 24-7, fasting and praying like Anna did, but we can give God some time. So as the new year approaches and we sort of set resolutions for the new year, I suggest some spiritual ones. Every day, start with a morning offering, whatever form that means to you, a brief time of prayer to just ask God to be with you in this day, a day that we only have because of his generosity and his mercy, right? So just open it with that and close the day with an examination of conscience. And then make this also, we think of an examination of conscience as what are the bad things we did, but really an examination too of gratitude. Think over the day and what are you thankful for that God did for you that day? And in what ways did you fall? What can you do better? What, where do you need God's help in your life? And then at least once a month, as often as you need to, bring those sins to the sacrament of confession and receive God's gift of forgiveness and mercy. Two simple ways to try to be open and available to God's grace. I was thinking, I don't know if this ever happened to y'all, but <clears throat> especially when I'm shopping for a certain vehicle and I think, oh, I like this white truck. And then I start driving around, and I see all these white trucks. 
You know, it's like, wow, I got a lot of them. I didn't even notice that before. But it's only because my perception has changed and I'm paying attention to that particular thing. So opening ourselves up to God, you know, starting the day with the expectation that he's going to reveal himself in some way that day will make you recognize him in ways that you didn't know before. So start your prayer with that. And really the goal, the, the, uh, the real message of today comes from the first reading, I think. Uh, don't look just to the world with all it craves for. The world is coming to an end. But anyone who does the will of God remains forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize Him and God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only to say the word, my soul shall be. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace.
Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift of itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.